IntelliPeer Cap Fundamentals on demand. Creating a list using list management. Viewers will learn how to access list management, how to create a list with a CSV import, and how to update and modify the list. At the portal login screen, sign into the portal with your username and password. On the portal's main screen, look for a row of icons representing various applications in the CPASS platform. Select List Management. List Management is our own, lightweight, cloud database system. You can use it by itself or with Engage and SmartFlows. In this exercise, we're going to create a list of contacts that we'll use as our data source for an Engage campaign. But keep in mind that a list can contain any information, not just contacts. Any lists already created will appear on the Lists screen. To begin, select Add New List in the upper right of the screen. Throughout this training, I'll refer back to the upper right of the screen whenever I want to create a new project in whatever tool we're using. The first thing List Management asks is, what's the title of the list? And add a description for the list. This title and description is for organizational purposes, and it's especially useful when many lists have been created within your environment. The next thing we'll do on this screen is set the sharing option to public. In this context, public means that other CAP users in our organization may view and update the list. It does not allow the general public to view or modify the list. Finally, we're going to add context to the list by uploading a CSV file. CSV means comma-separated values, and it's one of the most common data formats. If your database is able to export your contacts as a CSV file, that file can be uploaded directly to list management. For this training, we'll download the template linked from this page and use that to create a simple contact list. I'm using Microsoft Excel to open our template CSV. If you don't have Excel, this template is also editable using Google Sheets or another spreadsheet app, or even a simple text editor. Each column of the CSV represents a field, a piece of data about the contact. The template includes first name, last name, and phone. Of these, the only one that's truly necessary is the phone so that Engage knows where to send the messages or place the voice call. Additional columns added to the file will represent additional points of data about the contacts, like address, email, organizational unit, or t-shirt size. For this list, we'll add two contacts, one for my colleague and one for myself, so I can make sure it worked. This is going to be a very short and simple list, but the principles are the same for a longer list. The list now consists of three rows, a header that identifies what field each column represents, and then a row for each of the two contacts. Once the changes are saved, then it's time to upload the list and import the contacts. Heading back to the browser, to the list management screen. Select the Browse button to bring up the file browser. List Management will show the first two lines on screen as a preview, saying, OK, this is the header and this is the contact, right? If those look correct, select Save, and it will process the rest of the list. Now we'll select the link at the upper left to return to the list screen. Here is the list that was created from the imported contacts. Select the view icon to view the records without editing. This trash icon deletes the list entirely. This edit icon allows a closer look at the list and its contacts. This field lets us search the list for a string and filter on everyone named Wood, for example. The Actions menu gives us a few more options to add to or modify the contacts. Append allows us to upload another CSV and add its contacts to this existing list. Add a new field lets us add another data point for the contacts in this list, the same as if we'd added a column to the CSV. Each record can then be updated right here within the browser. Add a new record lets us add another contact to the list, also within the browser. Delete all records drops all the contacts from this list. The difference between this and the trash icon we saw earlier is that this leaves an empty list with the original title. 
Choose one or more of these records with the checkbox next to their names, and choose Delete Selected Records to drop them from the list. The last thing I want to show you over here on the right is the Download button. When we select it, List Management will download the latest version of this list to the desktop as a CSV. In this module, we created a contact list using List Management. Next, we'll use Engage to create a campaign to send a message to the contacts on this list. 